I want to pick up another one because I have been using it a lot and I'm scared to run out. That's how much I love it and y'all know I got a lot of primers. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Sephora VIB sale recommendations and also my wish list. Yes, I have some stuff in my cart and I know I need to whittle it down because it is ridiculous. But I just wanted to talk to y'all about it and maybe that'll help me make up my mind if I'm actually going to purchase these things or not. But I have a little bin, just going to show you the top of it, right here that has stuff that I recommend and I'm recommending it because I have it and I've tried it and I love it. And then I'm going to go through my phone and tell you what's in my cart. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of makeup videos, lots of hauls, I do hair, nails, fitness, everything related to beauty. So if you are interested in my recommendations for the Sephora sale starting in a couple days and you want to know what I have in my cart, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I struggled with this a little bit because part of me is like if I can get it from Ulta because I have points, I'm going to get it from Ulta. But at the same time, you can get points at Sephora and every 500 points you can use for like $10 off or something like that. So up to you, whatever your preference is, there's stuff in here that you can get at Sephora or you can get at Ulta, but I think most of it is Sephora exclusives or you can buy it directly from the brand. So if you are not aware, the spring savings event is starting on April 14th and Sephora has a sale. They used to only have a sale twice a year. Now they started throwing in a random 20% off coupon. At the end of the year, they do sale on sale where you get 20% off of sale items. So sales are not as sparse I guess as they used to be but I always shop the sale I always have stuff in my loves saved for the sale so the sale goes from April 14th through April 24th during that entire time the Sephora collection items will be 30% off and you can shop as many times as you want to you can shop in store you can shop online and all you have to do is use the code save now if you are a VIB Rouge, then you get to shop early starting on the 14th for all your products at 20% off. If you're a VIB member, then you get 15% off and you are able to start shopping on the 18th. And then Beauty Insiders get 10% off and they get to start on the 18th as well. So if you're Rouge, you get to start a little earlier. I guess they give that as a perk for people who spend way too much money. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in to the products that I recommend. I don't have a lot of like skincare and all that stuff because honestly, I just get that stuff wherever I can find it for the biggest discount. And sometimes brands will have sale. This goes for products too. Brands will have sales that are a little more than the 20% or if you're a beauty insider and you're only getting 10% or 15%, and you can shop a friends and family sale as 20%, 25%. Hell, Pat McGrath goes up to 30% sometimes. Sometimes it's just better to wait and shop from the brand. But I like to get all my stuff in one place and accumulate my points. So that affects my purchases as well. For fragrance, the only thing that I have is this Sol de Janeiro. Y'all, I still love this. I have the lotion the body cream and the spray this is the Sharosa, i think is how you pronounce it this is number 68 so this one is brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit this does remind me of baccarat rouge 540 i have said this several times this is one of my favorites i love layering this and going to bed smelling so delicious i will wear this to the gym sometimes i have this bottle i have a backup I have this tub and I have a backup. That's how much I love it. I don't think I'm going to re-up on it this sale, but I don't know. You'll see whenever you see my haul. I'm just pulling these out of the bin. They are not in any order. A foundation that I recommend, this is pretty high end and it's expensive, so good time to get it on sale. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I did a review on this one. I absolutely love it. It is a little too light for me right now since I got a tan. 
but I think this foundation wears so well. It lasts all day. It's not drying or cakey. It just, I wore it and just felt like my face looked flawless, but it didn't look like I had a bunch of makeup plastered on. So if you're wanting to splurge and try a high-end foundation, I think this one is really worth it. This is still in the box because this is how I like to save my palettes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. Now, yes, Anastasia Beverly Hills website has sales. I don't really shop on their site, so I don't know if they offer a better discount. This is also available at Ulta, so keep that in mind if you have points. But if you are looking for a new palette to try, this one is so good, and I love that they went back to making palettes like this. This doesn't come with the brush like her other ones used to, but the pans are a little bigger. And I think this would be really cute for spring. So this would be a really good time to pick it up. I love this purple shade here. They're gorgeous neutrals, but you can really kind of amp it up because of how much sparkle is in the shimmery shadows. <laughs> I'm getting awestruck just looking at it. So I've used this a few times. I have a big collection, so most of my stuff doesn't look like I've used it, but I promise I have. And I absolutely love the formulation of this palette and think it is very much so worth it. I'm going to have a lot of Sephora stuff recommended in here because it is 30% off. One item that I have is the Micro Smooth Palette Multitasking Baked Face Palette. I got mine in the shade Captivate. There are two shades, but this is the deeper one. I love their Micro Smooth Powder. I also recommend that and have one in here somewhere. But this formula is baked and so it just blurs everything. It gives you a tiny little bit of glow. And these blushes are beautiful. This highlighter is beautiful. This doesn't work really as a bronzer on me, but I definitely could use it to kind of warm up my face a little bit. So if you're in the market, you want to try a new blush palette or face palette or their highlighter formula, this is a great way to try everything all in one. Another eyeshadow palette that I recommend, this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette. I did a review on the first one. I felt like it wasn't worth it. Then the second one came out and I saw this color story and I was like, ooh, now I kind of like that one. I like the color story of the other one too. It's just when I used it, I didn't feel like it performed that well. And then I think they changed the formula on this one is what I felt like and I've heard other people say too. So I thought this one was amazing. And these two shades right here were really what got me when I went in the store and swatched them. So this is expensive, but if you can get it, especially if you have the 20% off, I suggest you do. I don't know if he has sales on his website. I've never even looked at his website. So if he does and you can get it there for cheaper, then by all means. But if you want to pick up everything all together at one time, get this during the sale. This is a little random, but I have like five of these and I pick one up every sale because this is my favorite way to clean my brushes. This is from the Sephora collection and this is their solid brush cleanser. This works so well. I have used the Beauty Blender one. I will use dish soap, um, antimicrobial anti dish soap and sometimes feel like my brushes still don't get clean and then I'll just pass it in this and this also, is this one open? Yeah, this one also has this little silicone scrubber in it, which is a great way to be able to make sure you're getting a deep clean for your brushes. And this is inexpensive. It's cheaper than the Beauty Blender one and it works. So don't love cleaning brushes and want a fast way to do it, try this out. You know I gotta recommend some Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury has sales on her website, but it's always just, from what I've seen, it's bundles. She never does like 20% off of whatever you wanna buy. So. I don't really shop her website ever. Most of my Charlotte Tilbury I have picked up from Sephora. I think all of it, except for one palette I got on Amazon. But her setting spray, this will keep your makeup on forever. It is one of the heavy duty, heaviest duty. It's not heavy dutyest. <laughs> Whatever. This is one of the strongest setting sprays I have ever used. It smells strong. This is up there with like the Huda Beauty one that smelled ridiculous. This is like the Patrick Star one, which also smells ridiculous. I don't know why it has to have so much fragrance, but these 
You can get this one. You can also get Patrick's. It's right here. Hold on. Either one of these. If summer's coming, if you want something that is going to keep your makeup on and you are not going to have to worry about it sweating off, transferring as much, all that good stuff, you can't go wrong. I also want to suggest some of the Sephora collection lashes. I feel like I have been able to get some of the... I have more over here. This is a pair that I have that I've loved using for when I want a wispier look that is not too dramatic and these are easy to put on. I also have these right here. This is a box, a backup box. I have another box of these I've used already. These are so pretty and so full. And at first I looked at them and thought they were kind of intimidating, but the band is really flexible. So they're easy to put on. They have a lot of different styles of lashes. And again, these are going to be 30% off because it's Sephora collection. So if you want to try something a little more high end, but you don't want to spend on like velour or lily lashes, try out the Sephora collection. I have two products in here from House Labs. Again, I've never checked the website, so I don't know what her sales look like, but the Triclone Foundation, Skin Tech Foundation, and then her Blurring Setting Powder. So good. I've heard mixed reviews on this foundation, which I don't understand. This one's too light for me right now, but when I did buy it and it matched me really well, I bought 450 Medium Deep Warm. Love this foundation. Flawless, lightweight, doesn't feel like I have anything sitting heavy on my face. I've worn it to the gym, it wears well. This powder is so brightening and so blurring, and every time I've worn it, I just feel like it gives me that last little bit of oomph I need in the middle of my face just to make everything come together and glow and my concealer doesn't crease like everything you want in a setting powder they do have different shades there's a translucent but I picked mine up in golden and I'm glad I did because it's brightening but it's not too stark of a shade for my skin tone another Charlotte product that I highly recommend this is her pillow talk beautifying face palette I picked this up during the last sale Y'all, this is so good. I swatched it in the store because at first I wasn't going to get it because I thought maybe it wouldn't be deep enough, but I swatched it in the store and it was literal perfection. And I was like, yep, as soon as I get a sale, I need to have it. Every single one of these shades look good on my skin tone. This shade is really deep and you can build it up if you're darker. This would be great as a blush topper. And then these two highlights complement everything in this palette just this is perfectly put together and I absolutely love it. Love the formula, everything is smooth, melts into the skin and just looks amazing. Another Sephora collection product. I picked this up a couple years ago. I know it wasn't the last sale and I don't think it was the sale before that, but this is the Sephora S Clean Clean Velvet Cream Blush Palette. If you are into cream blushes, I love the range that they give you in this. It's a clean formula. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. The rest of them are matte. Yes. And I love how the tones are very different. So you don't have to worry about getting something that's similar and you only have four shades. This, this almost could be a bronzer on me, how deep it is, but it is a red. And then this is just like a perfect brick red. This is my everyday go-to shade. And then this is perfect, kind of almost like a blush topper for me, but you can wear them however you want. The formula is great, extremely pigmented and long wearing. As I recommended earlier, this is my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. As you can see, she has a dent in her. This one is a little light, but before I tried the Dior Powder No Powder and the Kosas Cloud Set Powder, I was using this to set my under eyes, so it is a little bit lighter just to brighten. So smooth, blurring, reminds me of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Everybody said that, nothing new, but if you want to try it, now's the time to do it. More Sephora, best skin ever foundation. This is good. I th think I reviewed it. Pretty sure I did. Oh, you know what? I might not have because I filmed a full face of Sephora and lost the footage. So I probably need to do that again. But this foundation wears really well, dries down. It says it's a natural wear, 
but I kind of feel like it's a little matte. It is long wearing, like it says, and you can build it up. I picked mine up in 44Y, which is a little too yellow for me, but the other shades, this was the closest one. So y'all know I'm finesse them and make them work. I was able to do that with this one too. If you're in the market for a foundation and you don't want to spend House Labs or Givenchy, pick this one up. I can't recommend that foundation without recommending the concealer. This is so good. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. So if you just want to use it to spot correct, if you want to use it for under your eyes, carving out your brows, whatever, you can do that. I picked mine up. This is the shade 35N. I did want something that was a little closer to my skin tone because I have enough concealers that are bright. So I feel like this is right in line with some of the others that I love, like the Huda Beauty and the Charlotte Tilbury and what's some of my other high-end ones that I love? Rare Beauty, Fenty Beauty, like not as expensive. And I feel like you get a lot of product in here. So I think this is definitely worth trying if you're in the market for a new concealer. Another Sephora collection product. I tried this when I did my full face of Sephora and I was amazed at how good my skin looked when I was done. This is their Smooth and Blur Primer. It says it diffuses the look of imperfections and it reduces the appearance of pores, fine lines and wrinkles and it blurs. Everything that I look for in a primer and Sephora collection, 30% off. You can't go wrong with this one. I have two products by LYS, but I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, everything, try everything. I absolutely love that brand. I have the primer upstairs in the bathroom. I have the foundation upstairs in the bathroom. This, I just pulled out the drawer to remind me to talk about it, is their bronzer. They also have cream bronzers, which is on my wish list in my cart. I have their concealer. I have their translucent powder. I have their highlighter i have their cream blush like pretty much anything this brand comes out with i need to get it it's a black owned brand the price is so affordable that is the thing that gets me because it is just so good the products wear like high end like house labs like fenty beauty like really really good but the price is like sephora collection price so Definitely need to. I'm picking up more stuff from the brand just because I love it and 20% off. I'll take a sale any day. Two other concealers that I recommend and I just kind of mentioned these. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is the Luminous Matte Concealer. So at first I was like, what does that even mean? And then I tried it and I get it. So I picked this one up in Crumble 7-1-N. When you put this on, it is going to dry down and it is not going to move, but it is not going to look dry. It is not going to suck the life out of your face. You're still going to look refreshed and awake and hydrated. I don't know how they do it, but this is so good. I feel like this is a concealer that when I run out of it, I'm probably going to repurchase. I'm not buying a backup right now because I literally just got this last sale or from Huda site. No, I got it during the last sale. So I don't need another one because I have plenty of concealers, but if I run out, I'm picking this up. The other, also a really good concealer, is the Rare Beauty, what is the name of this? I can't think of it, something touch. Mine is blank, I'm too excited. Her concealer is really good. This one I wear more for like everyday looks. I don't pick this one up if I want a glam look. So if you're into something that's not super full coverage and you just want to look more awake or brighten or spot cover this is a good concealer it wears really well and i feel like they have a good shade range in this one too another sephora item that i will pick up every sale probably not this time because i think i picked up four last <laughs> four last time their lip pencils now i will say i don't know what the issue is why these smell so bad because all of them do even when you like smell it in the store, it's not like I have bad ones that have just been sitting. These smell, and I don't know what it is, but it is so good. I love these because they're creamy. 
They are retractable, so I don't have to worry about having to sharpen them. And they have a lot of different shades. This one is in molasses, but I have, God, what's the other ones? I can't think of, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I think I have like three other shades. Mesquite is one of my other favorites. Um, great formula. If you like a formula, let's see, that is long wearing, but it doesn't go on matte and there's no tugging, like it's gonna go smooth on your lips, you definitely need to try this. Go ahead and just, you know, while we're at it. And if y'all wanna know what I have on my lips, I know I'm bad for that. On my lips today, I used a brown lip liner. Oh, Uoma Beauty Simone is the name of it. Is my lip liner. My lip stick is a liquid lipstick from Laura Lee Los Angeles in Jaybird. And then my lip gloss is right here. One of my favorites, this is the Sephora Collection Outrageous Full Effect Plumping Lip Gloss. This is in, it says number two, but I feel like it was like XXL or something like that was the name of this one. Really, really good, inexpensive. That's what I have on my lips right now. It tingles, but it doesn't burn. Just the cooling effect, and it is very long wearing, opaque, and they have a lot of different shades. Getting to the end of my recommendations, and then we're gonna run through <laughs> my cart fast. Another plumping gloss that I really, really like is the Patrick Ta 2CC's um, Plumping Lip Gloss. This is the Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. I got this one in a pink, and I just feel like, we'll go ahead and add some, why not? This one is also plumping. This one I do feel like tingles more than the Sephora Collection one. But I just feel like I love when my lips look plump and smooth. I feel like these help kind of smooth out the lines so everything just looks like plush and kissable and juicy. I used to never want that and now I can't get enough. So these come in different shades. I know he also has some other kind of balms, plumping balms. I haven't tried those. I don't think I'm going to pick them up because I have enough lip products. But if you're into plumping products, you can't go wrong with either of those two. This was a pleasant surprise. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin um, Blurring Balm Powder. I picked it up in the shade Universal, and I also picked it up in shade number nine. I'm glad I got shade number nine because it is dark for me, and I, the other ones were too light and too orange-yellow. The other one actually matches me right now with a tan, so I can wear that by itself. This goes on, it is super emollient, like it looks, I hate that you can't see from back there. It looks super wet, but then it dries down to a powder. I have this on today. I actually have it on this side of my face, and then I have Tarte. They also came out with a balm, blurring balm. They're dupes, I'll tell you that right now. I don't remember pricing, but I know Tarte has sales for like 30% off, so if you want to try this, Tarte's only comes in clear, though, versus Danessa's has different shades. So totally up to you if you want to try the Tarte one versus this one in Universal. But if you want one with a shade, go with Danessa's. A lot of people say they don't like this, and I don't get it. Like, I literally feel like my face looks flawless right now. Like, red carpet ready. I ain't going nowhere, but... What, what else do you need me to say? absolutely need to have this y'all I have never tried the Charlotte Tilbury wands contour wand blush wand glow wand none of the wands but I picked this up from Tarte during their sale 30% off because I wanted to try a product that was similar this is so good this is the sculpt tape and this is in the shade deep bronze I have this on today when I tell you, you got to put it down, like put it down and then blend. Don't let it sit because it dries down really fast. But the way it blends into the skin, like it just gave me the most beautiful, warm, not red, but not too cool, like not too warm, not too cool, like perfect neutral bronze. This is coming upstairs with me. I normally don't like cream or liquid products when I'm in a rush because I feel like they're harder to use and I have to be careful. This was so easy, so easy. Dot a few dots, 
blend it out, you're good to go. Last but not least, this Say Do Blush in the shade Spicy. I have this on today, y'all. Few three dots. Started blending it out, it was too much. I could not believe. I've had this for a while and I just started using it and I was just like, I can't believe I've slept on this. This dries down, but it still gives you a little bit of a sheen and it just looks like skin. There's a lot of different shades. I'm kind of tempted to pick up other shades, but I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. I have Natasha Denona Liquid Blush. Like, I don't need any more. But this is so good. So good. So if you want to try a liquid blush, I know there's a lot out there. But if you want something that's not going to be hard to use, going to give you some pigment, going to give you a little glow, try this out. All right. So now let's switch gears and we're going to run through my basket real quick. I have 24 items in my cart. We're not doing it. Number one, K-Skin Isle Lip Balm SPF 30. This is $14, 20% off. I could buy this whether it was on sale or not. So I might not pick it up right now. I have this already. I take it with me on vacation. I just burned my lips on last vacation because I forgot to bring it. So that's why I stuck it in my cart because <laughs> I want to get another one. I love the smell of this. I love the formula. I will put this on with just a lip pencil and wear it by itself. I wish they would come out in colors with this one. Do they? Because it says, they do. Oh, of course, they're out of stock. So there is a rose and a berry. Well, crap. They're out of stock right now, but maybe they will come back at some point. But even if they don't, I'm gonna get it. I forgot to include this, but it is in my cart because I want another one. Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. That primer is in my travel bag, which is why I forgot to grab it. It is so good. Blurring, smoothing, long wearing. Took it with me on vacation and just felt like I would wear it by itself because of the blurring properties, but just the lightest little bit of makeup on top of it and it looks like skin. So good. I want to pick up another one because I have been using it a lot and I'm scared to run out. That's how much I love it. And y'all know I got a lot of primers. I'm still dealing with some shedding with my hair. So I have a few hair items in here. Nutrafol has a thickening serum. The company, The New Co, which I've never tried, but it has good reviews. They have a set that comes with a serum and vitamins. So I'm trying to decide between those for which one I want. Briogeo also has a set $135, but it comes with the shampoo, conditioner, vitamins, and the serum. I honestly think I'm going to pick that up because I like Briogeo and it's a black owned brand. So one of those three, I'm going to pick up, not all of them. I do have a fragrance in my cart and honestly, I need to go smell this first because I've never tried anything from the brand Maison Marge Margella. Is that how you pronounce that? replicas on a date i don't know what this smells like based on the description it says it's a warm floral which is normally what i love i feel like i could like it but i probably need to go smell it i just bought two really ex well i got two really expensive fragrances for my birthday so i don't need any more perfume but at the same time we all know getting perfumes on sale, you need to do it while you can because it is very rare. So it's in my cart. I'm gonna try to smell it to see if I'm gonna get it or not. I also wanna try the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I'm probably gonna pick mine up in the shade Offshore. You know, honestly, I'm thinking about getting Seafront. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because like right now with me being darker, most of my foundations are too light, and so I feel like this can kind of help warm everything up. And I have plenty of other powders that are lighter, so I think I'm gonna do that. This next product I'm on the fence about. This is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Firming and Debloating Body Oil. It has really good reviews, and it says that when you use it in conjunction with a lymphatic massage, it helps to de-bloat and just kind of smooth everything out and make you Give the appearance of slimness because you're getting moving a lot of water weight out of your body. So I kind of want to try it to see how well it works. Just for midsection, thighs, butt, you know, the areas where a lot of women carry weight. 
Those are my problem areas. I hold a lot of water there. Cellulite, if I'm going to get it, it's on the back of my thighs because that's where my water weight is. So tempted to try that out. Olaplex also has a Lash Bond Building Serum. Now it's crazy because you can get this at Ulta as well. On Sephora's website, great reviews. Everybody says you need to try it. On Ulta's website, not so much. So I don't know how that happens, but it's $68, which is about the same cost as the Grande Lash. So I'm tempted to try it just because I love my Grande Lash and I know it works well and hopefully this will work well too. This is in my cart, but I'm probably not going to get it. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Care 24 Hour Hydrating and Radiant and Correcting Creamy Concealer. I don't need any more concealers. And I just talked about how great the Huda one is, but the makeup hoarder, lover, collector, whatever, enthusiast in me wants to try this one out just because of how much I love the foundation. So I don't know, it's in my cart, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I would absolutely will be picking up the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Balm, oh no, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Blushes. I want two of them. I don't know if I'm gonna get two of them, but I want Jubilee and I also want Golden Hour. I think I'm leaning more towards Golden Hour but I'm probably gonna get them both. I ain't even gonna lie, just because I hope they don't sell out. That's the only thing. Um, but because I love the primer so much, I just feel like I need to go ahead and get it. I need some water, y'all. I'm about to choke. Talking fast. I have this in my cart, but I'm probably not gonna get it. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. I love her original mascara, so I'm kinda like, why do you need to get this? Plus, I have a backup of her other one. You know what? I'm talking myself out of it right now. Removed. Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Another smoothing primer. This has BHAs in it. I want to try it. Probably going to get it. One Size by Patrick Starr. Secure the Sweat Waterproof Mattifying Primer. I told y'all, I think when I was talking about my favorites, anything from One Size you wear it, your makeup's going nowhere, nowhere. And I have the other Secure the Blur Primer that is in my travel bag, but this one is supposed to be even heavier duty than that. So I'm like, you know, that could be like my meat day makeup or for the summer, I'm gonna have to try it out. I feel like his products are pretty affordable for it to be in Sephora mid-range brand. So I think it's worth it to try it. I have this in my cart, but I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I just saw that they had great reviews and people were recommending the Tarte Tint and Plump Maracuja Juicy Lip, whatever these are, <laughs> balms. I feel like I got a little one. Yeah, I did. So I'm probably not going to buy this because I really just wanted to try it. And I got a little tiny one in a Tarte set that I got from Ulta. So now that I know that is what I have, I'm not going to get that. Next thing, House Labs by Lady Gaga. I want one of her blushes. I'm trying to only get one and I'm looking at Watermelon Bliss right now, but I haven't tried any of her. She has bronzers and she has highlighters. I have one of her old formula highlighters that I like, so I'm not picking up the new ones, but I want to try one of these blushes. So that is in my cart. I also have the LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer and Contour. In the color strength I think that is the same color that I have here yes that is the same color I have here in the powder so that is gonna be perfect I'm gonna pick that up oh, if I can get this rare beauty positive light silky touch highlighter I want it everybody's been talking about how great it is I know I have enough highlighters I don't care it's 25 bucks so I don't feel like it's too crazy and I'm probably going to pick mine up in the shade Flaunt if it is not sold out. Last but not least, every sale, I try to pick up one of their Sephora Favorites perfume samplers because you get deluxe sometimes. No, it is always deluxe size. I think you either get deluxe size or you get the little tester samples, but you pay like 60 bucks. This one is 80 because it is the deluxe size samples and you usually get five to six fragrances and then you get a voucher 
to bring into the store to pick whichever one that you want in a full size from the samples that you got. So I feel like it is a great value. This one is $136 value and in it, they have Clean Reserve Skin, Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia, we don't do gardenias, Marc Jacobs Daisy, which I like, Nest New York Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil, Fleur Missing Person. I've been wanting to try those and I haven't even smelled them. So good that that's in there. This Versace Dylan Purple though, I have Dylan Blue, I have Dylan Turquoise. And I low key kind of want this one just because it's purple. I smelled it, it smells really good. I just don't know if there's anything about it that's like this, like Byredo Mojave Ghost got me. Um, Baccarat 540, Baccarat Rouge 540, like those scents that are just like, whoa, what is that draws you in? I don't know if this is one of those. And so I'm trying not to just buy stuff because, oh, that smells good. I have a lot of stuff that smells good. Um, and then they also, oh, they give you a tiny tin candle, but they say you cannot redeem for that. So that's just a sample that they're giving you. So lots of good stuff in that kit. Always think those are worth it. The other thing I have, and I really, this would be a splurge. So I've been wanting a Dyson, one of those big sets that they have with the hair attachments and all that, the air wrap. I don't want to spend $600. I know it would help with my hair. I could use it for my wigs. Like I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. But they now have this shark one that looks almost identical and it's $300. So I have that in my cart. I'm just, I don't want to spend that much money. I told myself I was going to do better and I don't want to have to put back any of my makeup. So I don't know. It's in my cart. I really want to try it, but... It's just expensive, so it's in my cart and I'ma think about it. That is everything I have for my recommendations and my wish list. Comment below, let me know if you guys are shopping. What do you think about my list? I know y'all probably think I'm crazy and I need to stop shopping, but hey, you love to watch it, you're here, right? So I'm doing this for both of us. <laughs> Let me know if you're going to be shopping, what you're picking up. If you're not, why not? I want to hear that too. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. And that is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.